Next question on the list, what is Terraform? Well, Terraform is HashiCorp's infrastructure as code utility. You can install it to your system and then run Terraform commands. The Terraform program that you run locally is known as the Terraform Core or Terraform CLI, Command Line Interface. You run commands such as Terraform init, Terraform plan, and Terraform apply, which affect the providers that you work with. Now, providers are shown over here. And providers are services or systems that Terraform interacts with to build infrastructure on. Examples include AWS, Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google Compute, VMware, and so on and so on and so on. There's hundreds of providers that Terraform can work with. And that's part of the beauty of Terraform. If you have or need to have infrastructure on multiple cloud providers or multiple services on premises, Terraform can take care of all of that. So keep in mind that these over here are known as providers. That's the name that we give these providers. They are providing us with their infrastructure so that we can build whatever resources we need on their infrastructure with Terraform. Also, they're opening up their API to us so that we can actually communicate with their systems and build things automatically. So Terraform lets you define resources and infrastructure in a very human readable way. It's declarative, meaning the configuration files are not explicit. Terraform will take the code and interpret it. So it does a lot of the back end work for you. It does a lot of the leg work for you. And in essence, what you get is simpler code. In short, Terraform manages your infrastructure's entire life cycle. Now here's the thing. Terraform is meant to be used if you are going to build and take down infrastructure often. Perhaps for development and testing purposes, or perhaps as actual production platforms. But Terraform is not designed for one-off situations. So if you wanted to build a single web server and just have a website stored on it, you may as well just do that manually. If you plan on having that running for years, you may as well just do that manually. There's no reason to use Terraform. Terraform is designed to be used for infrastructure that you will either build and take down often or modify often, right? So in a nutshell here, Terraform is declarative, easy to read and easy to write code, and it is HashiCorp's infrastructure as code utility.